So you know so much about Gozer because... Because I'm a specialist in ancient Mesopotamian cultures and architecture. Sumerian primarily. Gozerian more specifically. I'm here as a guest curator for the Gozerian exhibit that's opening tomorrow at the Natural History Museum. You are aware that we also have some history with Gozer. Yes, of course. Gozer was a bush leaguer before he met us. A strictly farm team deity. We put him on the map. But our getting stiffed on invites to opening night, just an oversight, right? I don't have anything to do with that. That, gentlemen, was all me. And I can assure you, it was not an oversight. Oh, by the way, you have visitors. Thanks, Janine. Your first class lookout. Walter Peck. I did not recognize you without the mayor's backside attached to your nose. Okay, everybody put them back in their skivvies. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, Dr. Selwyn, are you all right? I think so, but I'm worried about the exhibit. Are you kidding? You can't buy publicity like this. The guest curator of the Gozer exhibit, the expert Peck recommended, is attacked the night before the opening by Gozer himself. Please tell me that was Gozer. Gozer manifested in a familiar form, one he had used before, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, but this event was weaker than his first encounter with us. Ha! Huh, that's all I need. Thanks. Come on, Jock. What's the idea of bringing Pluck around here? Oh, have I coughed at the wrong time? Listen, here's the deal. You and Peck and all you guys are going to work together. What? No way, no how. Impossible. Look, this city has given you at least a dozen contracts for the jails, courthouses, and wharves. You guys want to grow your business. Get some county and state work, too. I'm all for it. You've been big supporters and great for my campaign. Well, some have said our endorsement is what got you elected. But not out loud. Anyway, after all the damage you've been causing lately, the city council wants you under close supervision for a period of no less than six months. We file reports on time. There's no need for extra supervision. <laughs> Funny guy, Bankman. You've always been my favorite. Well, that's where your old friend Peck comes in. He's annoying, a stickler for the rules. In other words, the perfect pet for the job. He's our new head of Peacock. Peacock? P-C-O-C, Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. And my first official act is going to be suspending you clown's operating license. Lighten up, Peck. Launch your investigation if you have to, but for now, just keep them under control and my office in the loop. But remember, if the Ghostbusters cease to exist, so does your job. So you need each other. Beautiful in an ironic, symmetrical kind of way, isn't it? Hey, Mulligan, come on. It's Mayor Mulligan to you, Bankman. So, we have an understanding? This kind of protects us all. You want more government business, I want to keep my approval rating, and Peck wants his little fiefdom. You play by the rules. Easy. We all get what we want, and the city council gets what they need. Okay, big night tomorrow, Alyssa. Get some rest. So, now that we're all friends, can we get invites to the museum opening? Not likely. But I'll be seeing you soon. You can count on that. Doesn't Peck look exactly like the kind of guy who'd accidentally walk into the stream of a bosun glider? I'm just saying, it, it could happen. Ray and I have been talking. And we think we should have a look at the museum. Whatever happened tonight, it started there. Okay, I'll take one for the team. Stay with Alyssa. You guys go with Winston and the recruit. I'll be your personal protection. What about Peck? He's supposed to be informed of everything we do. What he doesn't know can't hurt us. Hey guys, you need to make a detour. Something big is going down. It's on 1010 Winds now. Tune it in. And another ghostly sighting has staff at the New York Public Library scrambling for answers. The Gray Lady. Let's get her for real this time. Go! Oh, what about the museum? It's been there for 104 years. Where's it gonna go today? Um, uh, this thing you guys have for the Gray Lady borders on the weird. 
You know that, right? She made us look like schmucks. Not this time. Oh, and another thing. Pat called and says that I'm required to tell him where you are and what you are up to. Tell him he can meet us at the museum. We'll be there. Eventually. Big crowd. Bankman would love this. Captain McMahon from the 12th says there was a massive disturbance. Real fireworks show. Not much going on now. Maybe. But didn't there used to be two lines out here? Check for valences. Hmm. Interesting. Ray, take a look at this. Wow, big spikes. Hey, cadet, you need to see this. Full torso animators! Come on! After them! You heard Stance, let's move! There they are! A couple of Class 5 animators. Never seen them in tandem like that. They're really agitated. Switching on the pack. All right. Take it easy. Hey! He said take it easy. That's not easy. Missed! Damn! Sorry, Z. How about a little warning next time, fellas? That one's a beast, Ray. Let's chase him down. Winston, check that next doorway. See if he has any friends. Leave a haunted room. I've got no problem with that. Hey, cadet. You use the shock blaster, it's best to get in fairly close. Its effects are powerful, but dissipate quickly over distance. And please be careful. It's a prototype. We're trusting you with it. The stasis stream will temporarily slow down paranormal entities. If you train the stream on the target long enough, you can actually stop it entirely. This is how you use it. Ooh, a, a stasis stream. This has nothing to do with cold, but the effect is similar. When do you have the time to work on all this stuff, Egon? I've been conducting an experiment in which I sleep an average 14 minutes a day. Leaves me a lot of time to work. Great. Ready to roll. Hey, Haas, you think you can handle that little fella yourself? We'll meet you back here.
shot around that corner. Look, it's the cadet! Strong emanations, no direct source, though. We followed our guy in here, and it gave us the slip. Detecting a very strong anomaly here. Here comes something big. Now that is a prime example of a level six bi-dimensional attractor. Egon, did I not just want to put on down somehow. Single focal object. You got it! Fantastic! Man, how much PK energy must it take to collect it and make it A lot. A lot of very angry energy. How easy was that? Wait, not so fast. I'm getting some big fluxes here. I think it's her. Yes, yes it is her! Eleanor Twitty, the librarian! Look, there she is! Meet us at the stairway door. She went down that way. Winston, check upstairs to see if the other phantom doubled back in. Roger. She shushed us again. That witch. He can't use the Stabilizing levitation. I'd say we're close to something. Ray. You got something? I got something right here. Kid, check that out. Ah! Ooh, she keeps shushing us. That's her, the gray lady. She's the first ghost we ever hunted. Man, I wish Venkman was here. I'm pretty sure Venkman doesn't. Easy now. She's real skittish. Austin. Let's go. We'll cut her off. These readings are off the charts. Charts. Wow. Now listen. This place is reading like a psychic Find your thrower. Here, just everybody quick close together. What was that? Okay, so much for stick together. New plan is fan out. Flexible approach, Ray. There are two hostile spirits roaming around in here. Two that we know about.
Temperature's dropping. The vent imminent. Brace yourselves. Guys, I'm in the periodical archives looking at a stack of old newspaper clips all about some nut named Edmund Moore, a.k.a. The Collector. Hmm, go on. This dude has a history you should know about. He was a rare book collector who seduced Eleanor Twitty, the head librarian of this place. The Grey Lady? That would be my guess. What's your 20? I'm in some kind of a dark tunnel, moving fast, towards a bright light. Oof! Class 1 swarmers! Pesky, but combustible. five animator. I tracked the slut here. There's the big fish! See what he did? Give him a new home and our containment facility. Look, 
Did you see that? More than I expected. I'm doing. Congratulations, Ray. Uh, but I'm near Special Collections. Someone you've been wanting to meet again is here. We're on our way! Keep an eye on the twitchy ones. They'll really crease you if you aren't careful. You okay? Keep your eyes open, team. She's upping the ante. Thanks for the warning, Ray. But I have no idea what you're talking about. You may want to just take our word for it. Bye. 
Okay, good job. Come on, kid. We need to get out of here. Uh, Winston, where the heck are you? In the periodical section. Checking the box scores from the Knicks game last night. Why? Tell us more about this collector, Winston. Says here that this collector used the Grey Lady to get to the rare books in her care. Specifically, a book called, get this, the Gozerian Codex. Great. Yeah. And when she found out what he was up to, she dumped him. Smart lady. Not really. Evidently, he murdered her for it. The Grey Lady was his first victim, but he killed a bunch more. And let me guess, he collected their bodies just like he collected books? Bingo! Ray, you get to buy me dinner. And here's the last on the collector. Seconds before he was hanged, he said he would return as Azadlor, some sort of god, to keep watch over the library and every rare book in its collection. Sounds like quite the bookworm. Sounds like the kind we run into all the time. We better get a scan. <laughs> well, I'm not saying that's a bad sign, but it sure isn't a good one. Jeez! That'll only hurt for a minute. around here someplace. Uh-huh, somebody's in here. It's children. What are they saying? I think they're trying to tell us something.
come out, come out wherever you are. Careful. You all right? What else did Hoover collect? Got that right, Scooter. Here's the place. Special collections. These rooms are packed with rare and valuable volumes. Okay, she's in here with Egon. No noise. She go. Valence is up. She definitely left a trace somewhere. Big spike right here. Yeah, check this out. I feel a breeze. Oh, cool. Secret passages. These are great. know this area existed. Looks like the janitors didn't either. In the last 80 years anyway. What are those? I don't recognize them from Tobin's. No. They're in the revised Ethiary catalog. I think the Grey Lady is constructing them from the books and minor spirits here. She may be more powerful than we thought. Take a look at this place. I could spend a month taking inventory of these books. Let's be very careful what we wish for down here, Ray. We should tell Winston to get down here. We could probably use his help. There's too much interference. of action. Hey, I'll bet this is a trap. Welcome back, Ray. doubts about the structural integrity of this sub-basement. It's moving again! Over to the left! Cool 
the same trick twice. That's good, keep working. Could be trouble. Telling you, the substructure is unstable. The ceiling could come down on top of us. Our low probe experiment is working. You're clairvoyant. No, I saw the support columns buckle. Oh boy. Shh. Creepy. Those beams are wedged solid. Good place for the capture stream. Try to pick up a signal, see what's here. big and more than likely terrifying. It's really dark down there. Damn, too. Wonderful. Hope you don't have any open pets. I'm thinking flesh-eating bacteria. That's an electric lock on the door. See if you can find the power. I wonder if it's a good idea to be standing in a foot and a half of water. That didn't last long.
six bi-dimensional attractor. I'm with you on that. We're lucky there were only some old books for it to manifest with. Recruit, you okay? Let's keep moving. Um... This is cheery. Nice place. Nothing bad could ever happen in here. There she is! Flank her! She's got nowhere to run! Except through the grate. I'm not clear on how the flanking was supposed to work. Oh boy, burning coal. Two of them this time! That nice way, tell us again how lucky we are. We may have missed that window, Ray. Well, we can't follow her through that grate. Is there another way? What you find there, young blood? Good work. Spangler, the kid found the exit. I added something new to the pack. This is the PDS, Plasm Distribution System. Basically, it's Slime Blower Mark II, heavily modified from the earlier version. Your plasm banks are now integrated into the proton pack. It uses a base culture of ectoplasm that can impair entities, cause caustic black slime to go inert, and reveal otherwise invisible ethereal structures that reside on this plane. To use the slime blower, just point and squirt. It'll help neutralize any active factors of black slime. It'll close any portals. See? Neutronized slime. Down there. Ow! Our own private shortcut to hell. That's convenient. That would be a safe assumption. That book she's reading is emitting massive energy. That's your cue, killer. Go get him. She took that pretty well, better than I expected. It makes perfect sense if her residual spirit energy is tied to the book. The Gozerian Codex, right? Now that we have it, her echo must have been released. She's gone. I think we helped her cross over.
on the way. Eyes high. She is shielding herself with the codices. Go after those first. That's it. You can't regenerate the cage. Keep hitting the book stand. straight on. wasn't as tough as it should have been. I was just thinking of the same thing. It was almost too easy. Like she wants us to have the Codex. Yes, like she wanted us to blast this room apart. But why? Cross-dimensional portal. From the 5th to the 4th. A whole world of ghosts. Something I've dreamt about since college. It's all in the Monarchy of Demonium. Fantastic. Ghost world. Wouldn't get too excited, Ray. I have a feeling she did it so we could meet an old friend of hers. Well, if we're going... Not much choice, is there? It's the only way out. You, take the lead. Don't worry, we do this all the time. Oh no! Look out! Hmm, so this is what the public library looks like on the far side of a cross-dimensional portal. It's one of infinite potential configurations. You know, theoretically. Yes, well, this looks like the Gozerian configuration. Watch out, black slime. Keep hitting these portals. One of them has got to lead out. Uh, the scientific method, Ray?
That was embarrassing. Looks like a good place for slime tether. To stretch a slime tether, point and launch the first anchor, then point and shoot the second. The launched slime tether will then contract. The more tethers you attach to a point, the stronger the result in the action. Since the rectoplastic charge has a short half-life, tethers will grow brittle over time and then break. You can blast an existing tether with any other equipment type to destroy it. should be able to put that back into place. Ghost world or no, the principle of leverage should still work the same anyway. Ah, yeah, you're on fire, cadet. Ray, it occurs to me that these events are interrelated. The Gozerian exhibit, the huge energy pulse, the Sedgwick Hotel, the return of Stakehoff. Yeah. Yes, even this. All pointing back to a single point of origin. Elissa? Elissa. You think she's a factor in this? Maybe not intentionally, but almost definitely.
are starting to make sense. I think I'm close to finding the exit. Uh-oh. I've got bogeys. Heads up, boys, wherever you are.
prime tether to bring the portal to you. I do like what they've done with the place here, but I hope that portal would have taken us back to the library. Actually, we are back in the public library. The dimensional membrane must be extremely thin here. Someone's holding us here. The Collector. Yes, Azatlor wants to add to his collection, and he's probably not too happy about us taking the Gozerian Codex with us. Oh yeah? What can a twisted little bookworm do to scare us? He murdered Eleanor Twitty for it when he was alive, and a dozen others just to cover it up. Hey, Collector! We're taking your book! What do you think about that? Ah, uh, he's right behind me, isn't he? Yes, I think you got his attention, Ray. Oh, boy. He's resisting my proton stream! 
stream. Look, his face is protected by black slime. That must be the key. Hey, Junior, switch out your nozzle and hold him down. Neutronize the black slime on his mask. Look, I think it's working! 